Well, we are now facing at least another three more weeks in lockdown. And it started me thinking, what am I learning from this time? And how can this time be used to refine me? I was told this week that in any crisis, there are normally four stages, heroic, exhausted, recovery, and the new normal. And I can certainly recognise that in me since we've been told to self-isolate. This week it feels like I'm moving out of exhaustion, hopefully into recovery. And I'm trying to ask myself tough questions about my priorities and how I can find the right balance during this time. I'm recognising that I have days when I struggle and days when the walls seem to be closing in on me. And we all go through times when we feel as though we're in a difficult place, don't we? It's simply part of life and it's certainly nothing to hide from or be ashamed of. If you're in the badlands right now or have been in the past, I want to encourage you to hold on to the truth that we're going to discover in Isaiah 43 this week in my daily reflections. Let me read you the first two verses. But now, God's message, the God who made you in the first place, Jacob, and the one who got you started, Israel, don't be afraid. I've redeemed you. I've called your name, your mine. You see, God says to each one of us, don't be afraid. You are mine. I've called your name. God knows each one of us by name. Pause for a moment to think about that. He calls us by name. We are his. I could stop right there and just reflect on that amazing truth. You are precious, valued and God loves you. Do you truly understand how valuable you are to God? We are worth the most incredible price, his own son, Jesus. So even in the badlands, we can trust in God, who created and formed us, redeemed us, so we need not be afraid. But let us pray. Dear God, I come before you to lay my panic and anxiety at your feet. When I'm crushed by my fears and worries, remind me of how you call me by name and that I am yours. Remind me of your love for me, your power and grace. Fill me with your peace as I trust in you and you alone. I know I can't handle this on my own, but I also know that I have you, Lord, and you have already paid the ultimate price to carry my burdens. For this, I thank you.